right guys welcome back to another grand cross video so i know it's been a minute since i made a video it's been what eight days over a week since my last video my upload on this channel that's crazy i think that's the longest i ever went without uploading at all so um yeah it's been a, it's been a, it's been a little bit so uh, how you guys doing uh, uh if you're still here thank you for sticking with me welcome back uh, it, it's just been a little stale, I'm not gonna lie. Um, you know, Grand Cross hasn't been in the best of state for the game. It's been stale. Um, it's, it's been, it's kind of in a dead state right now, I would say. I wouldn't say it's dying, but I definitely would say it's been in a dead state. There's just nothing going on like, at all. Uh, we had Deanne, and Deanne wasn't really that hype. So, I mean, the player base died out a little bit. And then for events, we had nothing going on either. But we do have some information on Tarmiel, brand new Tarmiel, red unit. Um, he is looking like he's going to be a very interesting character. I don't know how good he's going to be, but he's definitely going to, I think he's going to be a a good character um as far as being better than the blue tarmiel i don't know for sure i actually don't know for sure how good he's going to be compared to the blue one but I, i'm assuming that this guy's going to be offensive i i think we'll see we'll see um so his passive so when the hero recovers hp with the effect of grace increases basic stats of all allies by six percent up to five times so at max you're getting a 30 percent buff to your basic stats which is obviously really good um but he does need to heal with his grace which is i don't think that's bad but it, it depends right because his grace when the hero is attacked by the enemy on the enemy's turn recovers 30 percent of the damage taken if the hero receives two or more attacks from the same enemy in the same turn, nullify the effect of all skills, including ultimate move of that enemy for two turns. So he has nullification on his grace, and then he also recovers 30% of whatever damage he takes. Now, again, not bad. It's actually not bad. So he's whenever he takes damage, he's basically going to increase all the basic stats of allies, which again is going to be easy since pretty much a lot of units in the game have AOE attacks, and it's like he's going to get take damage regardless, right? Now I get, I guess the only bad thing about this is he's red, and there are a lot of strong blue units. You know, they got king you got lilia um who else is a really strong blue unit that you could run i guess margaret elizabeth even though elizabeth's not that crazy anymore she still can be annoying right there's just a lot of strong blue units that are running around in the game but definitely when you put him on a goddess team you could make some interesting plays i don't know where else you would use i mean you could definitely run him and other team comps right for sure maybe you could even run him with Deanne because of the fact that he does increase basic stats so that's going to help Deanne out um you could probably run him with a full nullification team and Chandler Valenti because again he doesn't have nullification as a skill he has nullification on a grace which is very good the only thing is he has to take he has to take damage from the same enemy two times so you can't get the nullification off <laughs> um on two enemies uh you can only get it off on one right so you can only get it off on one enemy which again not it's not the best but it definitely can help you out it definitely can help you out so you know his his passive and grace are really strong again don't know how it's gonna be compared to the blue tarmio but we'll see we'll definitely see and you can see right here his first skill is a flood card um we don't see too many flood cards but on this unit it probably will be good because of the fact that he heals and he increases his basic stats so the damage that he's doing probably will be pretty good i don't think it's going to be like crazy but we'll see we'll definitely see um you could run him with an attack and defense set for sure for this but i think a lot of people are probably going to run hp and defense i know a lot of people have triple defense on their blue tarmio but i don't know if that's actually going to be that good for this one but we'll see we'll see uh his buff now again the thing about grand cross is that in the state of the game where it's at majority of the units they have very good passive skills to make up for the fact that the attack skills that they have 
are pretty much uh similar to other units because you can't just like you can't just make a brand new attack effect on like a banner unit i mean you could but it's not going to be as crazy as it is on a festival unit so a lot of the characters in the game have similar skills uh, attack skills like sever spike um flood detonate right you can't just make a new one so what they do is they try and change the passive skills like you see here with tarmio that he had or grace that he has nullification on here instead of it being an actual skill which i think is really really good it helps make some variety for different units it's really really strong but they've been changing buff skills as well and we see this in elaine elaine has this and elaine um actually i would say elaine probably is the first unit that actually brought about a really good new buff skill because she has this skill right here where you actually will instantly heal whatever damage you take it's not like end of turn heal or start a turn heal it's instantly so the damage you take instantly you recover 20 percent of damage taken um on rank one 30 percent and then 40 on rank three so it's really strong this heal card and then she increases hp related stats i think this is actually one of the better buff skills in the game you could probably even run her with tarmio to be completely honest with you because tarmio will heal a lot um depending on I'm, a, I'm pretty sure this is this is like a, a passive active buff right his healing or a heal right so i'm pretty sure you can just use this with him and he he'll be healing a lot but i like that they've been making brand new buff cards because it again it changes the way some of the units work and how good they can be so that's really good and then tarmio's right here we don't know what it is on rank one or two but on rank three for two turns he increases the attack of all allies by 45 percent that's a really big buff to attack um it's not no small increase that's a really big buff so you get his basic stats passive at the max right so it's at 30 percent and then you increase it by a further 45 percent you're looking at a 75 percent increase to attack on your how, that's crazy that's actually pretty insane um again this isn't going to be common where you have this built up and then you're getting a rank three buff but when you do i'm telling you right now the damage that your allies are going to do is insane like it's going to be crazy and then he applies a buff that decreases damage taken from all enemies by 10 percent for one turn after taking damage and then you repeat this up to three times so again you're not going to get three rank three buffs right <laughs> all the time so but it is repeatable it is repeatable so you can stack it which is nice i don't think you can stack the attack buff but you can you can stack this uh decreased damage taken from all enemies this is where i'm like i don't know defensively i don't think he's gonna be better than blue tarmio but i do think that he is actually gonna be um you know better in terms of support i guess because of the fact that he's increasing basic stats and allies attack with this and then he's also decreasing damage from all enemies again it's a low percentage but it's still better than nothing and then he also has detonate which did get buffed by the way it actually did get buffed so keep that in mind um i believe it was 360 or something like that i mean we can check real quick i, I think it was but um go to jp site but yeah he did get the detonate buff with him so that's pretty good um let me see it, this is all this is a new this is the new skill where is the change to detonate it should be in here somewhere um hold on hold on it's in here it's definitely in here somewhere uh is this it yeah there it goes so um yeah it did get buffed from three wow 350 to 420 that's actually pretty good um so he has a what aoe detonate yeah it's aoe detonate so that's uh, pretty good but again you guys remember that this is damage based on their ultimate move gauge orbs so keep that in mind it's gonna scale depending on the uh the ultimate move gauge orbs that the enemy has but all in all i think he's actually a pretty good unit he's not like I don't think he's going to be crazy busted cracked OP, but he definitely is pretty good and solid. They've been giving the goddess race a lot of buffs recently. So I'm assuming that the Holy War Festival unit or 
festival unit is probably going to be Mael. It could easily be someone else, but they have been giving the goddess race members a lot of love this year. So uh, we'll see what happens with that. But all right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to end the video. If you did enjoy, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe. Also, be sure to leave a comment. Let me know what you think about this unit. And as always, you guys already know, I will see you all later.